Hey, how's it going, Dan? Douglas James here. So, um, thanks for taking the time to watch this quick video. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to break down your Facebook advertising campaigns, uh, show you some areas of improvement, show you exactly what we can do to get you to the next level. Okay, so here's my mug, uh, my, my fan page. So, I mean, you can visit here. Um, also, I have the website, amplocal.com. You can check me out there. Uh, but I just want to jump right into the uh, campaigns so I have your ad manager pulled up here and um, the first thing that I want to look at when I look at someone's campaign is I want to see what they're paying per click I want to see what their click-through rate is and I want to see how much they're paying per lead okay so the first one is how much you're paying per click alright so right now you're paying about 30 cents per click okay and 23 cents per click okay that's actually really good to believe it or not that is very good all right and um, you, and I mean anything under a dollar I consider uh, like phenomenal you know uh, but if you're in between one to two dollars you, you're pretty good right um, click through rate is high five percent anything if you're in a one to two percent it's really good you have outstanding click through rates right now I'm being honest with you um, but the thing that's uh, killing me with your campaign is your leads. Uh, how many people you know are coming into your funnel? How many? How much business are you actually generating? When you go into custom audiences, custom columns, you want to be able to have what's called the the lead pixel set up on your page. So you come to website, you click lead, uh, and then cost per lead, and hit apply and you should be able to see data over here on the right that's your cost per lead and you have zero data here so that tells me whatever pages that you're sending people to on this ad it's not uh, tracking that data so there's no proof there's no metrics truly that you can justify if your campaign is profitable or not okay now, whatever you're doing, it seems to be you're driving great traffic and getting great click-through rates and all that's awesome, but obviously you're probably not getting the sales that you truly want in these campaigns, and on top of that, there's no way to tell, hey, did this guy give me their personal information or not? I don't know. You know, out of this, uh, you know, how much did you spend here? You spent roughly, let's just call it 300 bucks between two campaigns, and there's no proof that you got an actual contact information or a lead right? or a sale. So um, let's break down your campaign. So here's your ad that you put together. All right. So you're already marketing with video, which is great. All right. That's, that's a, definitely the first step that you want to do. Um, and you have your, what you have here, you know, want to have those sticky bins clean, but don't want to take the time to get uh, that close to all the uh, get that close to all the bacteria, grime, and odor. For about the cost of lunch, we'll take the nasty chore off your hands and leave those bins looking and smelling new. And then your headline, clean, can clean pros, the trash bin cleaning company. Click here to sign up for our service. Then you click here, and the video is educational. It's transparent on the service and who you are, which is great. And it comes to here. Now, the reason why this campaign's failing you, okay, um, and it has partly to do with this ad, I'm going to get into this in a second, but the very first thing, you're getting those clicks, you're driving that traffic, right? People are coming to this page, but what is this page, Dan? This page is your website, okay? And what's wrong about sending people to your website? The reason is because as soon as they hit this page, okay, look at this, you have all these pages. All right, people are going to come through here, click through here, about us. There's no real clear path into your business. I'm a consumer, right? People do this all the time. They'll visit your page, bounce around, read some stuff. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a contact page. No, I'm good. You know, and they're not sold. And then what they'll do, they'll click off the page and go somewhere else. Okay. That's what's called a bounce rate. And that happens because you're not giving your prospects a very clear path into your business. All right. The good thing I will point out is as I put my cursor over this number, it's clickable. 
that means someone can call it right away, right? And I'm sure you're getting conversions. I'm not saying you're not getting conversions from this, but there's no way to prove it through the Facebook analytics. And you're sending people to site and your call to action is not that clear. And people, you aren't really motivating people to come into your business and to call you for this service. And what do I mean by that? So on the ad, what is your offer? There's no like jaw dropping, there's nothing got to have it right now type of offer. It's you pretty much just saying what you do and let's get you signed up. Get me signed up for what? Why should I, what makes you, what makes me want to call you versus calling another company just because you have an ad on Facebook? All right. So you need to create a special offer. All right. And the way that you do that is, um, you have to come up with something that you're willing to give away for free or have a mega discount to get people into your business. Because once you get people into your business, and as long as you provide an awesome, stellar product or service, they're going to become repeat customers and tell all their friends and family about you. Okay? So, you need to have a very clear <clears throat> offer here. Are you giving away something for free or you, do you have a major discount? All right? Just to get people in the door. And then you need to send them to what's called a marketing funnel, not a website, where there's no opportunity for them to click off the page. Like they have to go through your funnel if they're going to do business with you. And your, and your offer is very clear. So without beating you up too much about your funnel, sorry if I'm a little harsh, but I'm just trying to be honest with you and, and tell you what's going on here, man. But um, let me give you an example of, of a, a great uh, marketing funnel that we set up that's relatively new, actually. Um, so, with, without going into the metrics first, let's go into the actual ad and the funnel. So, here's a funnel, relatively new. Um, we just launched this one maybe, uh, I don't know, roughly a week ago. And uh, it's for screen repair, you know, for your iPhone or, you know, for your Galaxy S or whatever you have. You know, people drop their phones all the time and they need a new screen. So, this client, they repair and, uh, you know, replace your screen from the manufacturer. All right, so as you can see, what we're doing right away, we're calling out our local city, Attention El Cajon. That's the city that we're marketing to specifically, all right? Tired of that crack and shattered screen on your mobile, mobile device? Um, we are offering 25% off phone and tablet repair to 30 people this week. So boom, we grab their attention. We ask them the question that they're going to say yes to, all right? And then we give them the solution, the special offer, 25% off. We replace your cracked screen with an authentic match from the manufacturer. We are locally owned and have been in, been operating for over 20 years. Click to get your coupon today before they are gone. So we grab their attention. We ask them a question they're, they're going to say yes to. We give them the solution, the special offer. We create scarcity by saying we're only giving 30 this week. And then we tell them, we give them benefits to doing business with us. And we, we qualify them. Then we give them a call action. Click to get the coupon now. So in your ad, you were doing part of that. You were asking the question that they're going to say yes to. All right. And then you give them uh, incentives or the benefits to doing to business with you. But you don't have, you don't grab their attention with your local city. You're not giving them a special offer. And there's no clear call to action. All right. So I hope, do you see the difference? Then you come to the image. So we're using an image for this one, all right? And I, I like that you're doing video. Video is actually the better way to go. But the way we have designed ads, we can do phenomenal things with images as well, all right? So if you're doing an image, this is what the image will look like. It could, it could be a before and after, but the most important thing, it's a relevant image to what you're doing. So it could be a picture of you in front of your can truck, okay? And then we'll have your special offer snippet right on, right on the truck or something. We'll, we'll superimpose your offer, whether it be, you know, first cleaning free or one week free trial or 50% off or whatever. All right. And then the headline is supposed to reinstate the special offer again. All right. So you got the special offer here. You got it here. You got it here three times. And then the description is just backs up the offer and you state it again. So four times we say what the special offer is. And the link, don't worry about the link. That's just the link to the page. Um, you know, that could be anything. And then there's your call to action. Click to get your coupon now before they're going away. And they're going to click here or click here to download the coupon. 
all right boom and where did they go they go to a marketing funnel that looks just like this as you can see I'm scrolling up and down this is all that's there baby that's it <laughs> so you got an image in the background before and after I highly recommend you know whatever the image is from the ad have it right on the background so they know that they're in the right place they didn't get uh, scammed or spammed and sent to the wrong place phone zone wireless that's the same as that company from the ad okay all relevant and you do that you know on your on your website okay from the ad they can see that's you in the video and they see that's you right when they pop on there right okay so you're nailing that but then look it just has our offer again what are they getting what's the problem we're trying to solve and we say click to sign up for this special Facebook offer so that makes it relevant to them again because they're coming in off of Facebook we want to be transparent and mention that psychology okay then we create scarcity hey there's only 11 coupons left okay so we said 30 in the ad but you know what by the time you saw this there's 11 left oh crap I need to jump on this and get my coupon and they click yes please and as you can see there's literally nowhere else for them to click on this page this is it the only thing clickable on this page is this button right here yes please it drops down to whom and where should we send the coupon for 25 percent off to name email phone number send my coupon boom and then we just state the obvious hey we don't like spam just as much as you do we'll never share your information because people are always afraid of giving their personal information online so when we say this it's kind of like an agreement. Okay, they recognize the fact that, you know, I may be afraid to give information. They're not going to spam me. Cool. Uh, I love that. So, you know, on your page, it's very unclear, like, what's going on here. Like, it's just the home page of your website. There's no very clear path. So I hope this is making sense to you. You do have an opt-in page here. It's relatively long, and I understand you need this information, but this is information you could get on the phone with them, you know, when, whenever you, you call them or they call you. Am I right? Okay. Um, so anyway, so let's go back. So they hit, they put in information, hit send my code. I'm not going to do this because this is linked to an actual client. Uh, and then they go to this page, All right? Okay, I'm going to refresh. So every time I, <laughs> that's a pop-up. So as you can see, to come to this page, again, same kind of theme. Got the name of the company. Greetings due to the limit number of appointments available. Coupons will be given on a first call basis. Call now to secure your 25% off your screen replacement. Bonus offer. Mention you saw, face on, saw us on Facebook and get a free protection case for your phone or tablet. $50 value. Call us now to lock in a special offer. Boom. The only thing on this page, again, that they can click is this button. All right, so 80% of your customers, if we can do mobile ads only, and all of them will be running to this page, and they would be able to click on this and call the phone number. Okay, so we would want to run this, this ad just to phones, mobile phones. Okay, and again, create scarcity. Hey, you only have until the 31st to use this. And then we say at the, P, we say at the bottom, P.S., uh, did you know phone zone in El Cajon is located right down the street? Here's the address. Stop by real quick. Okay, you don't necessarily need to do this. You know, this is a brick and mortar business, so we we might want to add something like that for these guys, but maybe for you, not so much. Okay, but still, we would have some type of call to action. Hey, you know, there's limited spots. Uh, we need you to get on the phone right now and call us if you really want this special offer. And then, hey, if you do get on the phone right now, you're going to get a bonus offer. So I want you to start getting your juices turning about what can you give them for free or at a massive discount to get them in your business and to get them on the phone with you. Why should they, if they're clicking and giving you the personal information now, why should they call you? What's that bonus that you're going to give them? Okay, are you, are you going to give the first one for free? Uh, and then say um, their second visit 50% off or they get one for free and their friend gets one for 50% off or hey we could actually put uh, hey you know give give me a referral here and you get two weeks for free but you gotta call me okay so now we could put uh, they put their information on the first page right and the second page is say you can say hey awesome your coupons on the way by the way, would you like two weeks of free can cleaning for free? Just drop me a re referral here. And they'll put someone's name, phone number, and email of that would need the service. Okay? But by the way, hey, you also got to call me too. Okay? To get two weeks for free. Um, and then, you know, you got to give me a referral. 
So there's multiple ways we can do this. So I'm giving you, I'm giving, <laughs> I'm giving you really some awesome golden nuggets. So get those wheel turning on what you can offer. It's very important that you understand. All right. So let me let me help you out also and, and let you know why it's important to get somebody into your business for free or at a at a massive discount. So I'm going to show you this 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 ladder. Okay, this is called a value ladder. Okay, and as you can see, the further the ladder goes up, the higher the price gets. Okay, so if you have somebody coming in for free at like a one week cleaning, okay, you know you can assess them, become repeat customers. All right, maybe offer them some type of bi-weekly service or maybe some other type of service that you have okay or they can give you a referral which is also going to increase your sales and you just bring them up to your most highest level package okay maybe you have services where you're offering uh you know one-time cleaning right for uh let's just call it you know 40 bucks i'm just throwing numbers out there okay but then if you get them into your business for the first week and they're thoroughly impressed. Maybe you can upsell them to um, a weekly package and have them sign like a three month contract or, or a six month contract where you're coming every week or something like that, right? So you want to get people in at the lowest level so you can sell them at the highest level, okay? And there's a multitude of ways we can do this. So give you an example. I did this for one of our other clients, a, a dentist. Uh, we were giving away a free dental checkup. So people were coming in to get their teeth just checked out. The dentist was like, wow, you have cavities, okay? So then picture um, dental checkups here. Then we have cavities here, okay? Now you need a cleaning and an x-ray, okay? So that's 50 bucks, okay? Um, now you need fillings, okay? Uh, maybe that's $500, okay? Now, you know, do you smoke or do you drink coffee? Because I noticed your teeth are yellow. Okay, now that's $2,000, Okay. Oh, you need oral surgery because you have an extreme overbite. Oh, that's $15,000. You see how that works? Bring people in for free and then upsell them. Give phenomenal service and keep them coming back for more and they'll tell all your friends and family about you. So that's a brief introduction to the value ladder. Um, once we get going, I can help you set something up like this for you, but I'm sure you get the basic concept of what I'm trying to, the, the message I'm trying to get across to you. So. Um, Cool. So I showed you the funnel, right? Uh, let me show you like what type of conversion rates we're getting off this funnel. So ClickFunnels is a software program we use to, uh, you know, to build these types of marketing funnels, right? So this is a fairly new funnel. So as you can see, we have a 25% conversion rate. So that's one out of every four that people go to this page. They're giving us our their personal contact information. That's hardcore data right there, right? That's that's the type of data you want to be able to see. So let's go back to <clears throat> let's go back to this page. All right. So um, all right. So these this these numbers I'm going to show you for this client. This is for the newly launched uh, ad that we're doing just for the phone screen. Okay, we're on the lower end, about twenty bucks a day, roughly. All right. Um, we spent about one hundred twenty-four bucks. We're getting clicks for about a dollar fifty. Okay, not as phenomenal as your clicks. Uh, it will improve over time. But here's what we know. These guys are getting someone's personal contact information for every four, about every four dollars we spend. Okay, and they have a about a 20% close rate. So, uh, I'm sorry, they have about a 50% uh, uh, close rate. So, now we know for every four to ten dollars they're closing somebody on a fifty to one hundred dollar repair okay so that's huge right and we're able to we brought them uh, about 30 contacts so far and then the back end page are generating inbound phone calls as well all right so that's the type of data that you need to be able to produce for yourself all right how much are you paying to get someone's personal information for your business all right um, and that's the best advice that I can offer you you know creating content that's compelling for them to come in your business clear call to action education is huge and you do great with that with the video we can take this video and make an awesome campaign for you um, you have clear call to action and actually send people to landing pages that collects their information like this and then generates inbound calls like this that's what you're missing okay um, 
I will look real quick at your targeting so that maybe I can give you some advice on that on what we can do as well. So, so we'll go over to edit your campaign, look at your targeting. So you're at $20 a day, you're running it nonstop. All right. Oh, okay, here we go. It's like we're glitching up a little bit. Okay, here we go. All right, <clears throat> so I can see you're doing everyone in this location. It looks like you have uh, some specific coordinates um, that you want to be doing business in, and that's awesome. So if you are marketing to people in specific locations, and obviously you want people that live in those cities, right? So here's an awesome tip. Click this dot drop down and target people who only live in this location. Because when you're targeting people that live, er everyone in this location, what does that mean? That means people traveling, commuting, for work. That means all of those things, okay? And it's cool to show ads to all those people, but are you, maybe they're commuting from 45 miles away to an hour or just in town visiting family. Are they really gonna be interested in your local service? Probably not. So if you target the people that live there, that's going to be a game changer, okay? And I would go uh, up to five to ten mile radius on, on these to capture a little bit more people, okay? Um, looks like this thing's loading slow. Uh, language, I wouldn't even select language. It's going to default to English. I don't know why this thing is so glitchy right now. Um, and then for interest targeting, it looks like you have zero targeting. So this is huge. You have a lot of people watching your video and clicking, but all those people are unqualified for your service. So if you want to be targeting people with expendable income uh, and targeting people that actually own homes, you might want to target p homeowners and target specific income. So say they make at least over a hundred thousand dollars a year now they have extra money to do extra things that that where they find their time is more valuable so they want to pay somebody else to do it so right now i don't see any i see zero targeting right now and that's that's no good for this campaign all right um edit placements it looks like you're editing to instagram that's a big no uh instagram is for fashion and awesome photos and inspiration not for local business so you probably want to stay off Instagram right column Facebook is for buy now types of products you're just wasting money if you're doing that uh, so you want to just market to the Facebook feed center feed okay and if we're doing this for you I'm gonna only do mobile devices not desktop as well alright because we want to generate those leads desktop is more for buying people that are dedicating more time to whip out their credit card okay and then also, also, this is going slow. Uh, people that were on the mobile device, we're only going to target them when we're doing videos like you have. We're only going to show them, show them to them if they're on Wi-Fi. What does that mean? They're in. They have a strong internet connection. They're in a location where they have the time to watch a video for you to sell them on your service. Okay, AKA their home their office, their grandma's house, or whatever the case is, okay? So they gotta be on Wi-Fi. Uh, link clicks, that's cool. Um, you know, I highly recommend, you know, doing manual bids. I'm not gonna go into all the details, but pretty much, you know, that's my recommendations. I can see that there's a lot of uh, improvement that needs to be made with your campaigns. Like I said, you're getting awesome clicks and click-through rates, but it's not translating to actual money. And that's because of your targeting that I just talked to you about. That's because of where you're sending people to from your ad. And then your ad does not have clear enough call to action to qualify these people. Okay, so you have to qualify them through your targeting, through your ad. And then you have to send them to places where, you can, where they have to do one thing. And that's give you their personal information or call you. Okay, so without dragging on this anymore, I hope this was awesome for you. I hope this was incredibly informative. Um, and I really look forward to working with you, you know, so if this makes sense for you, 
uh, uh, please reach out. You know, um, you have my information. Uh, you can look me up on Facebook. I have the website here. Uh, you're friends with me on Facebook as well. Um, you know, so just hit me up here if you want to visit my company site. That's cool. But um, I really look forward to chatting with you. And uh, I'll see you on the flip side. Thanks, Dan. Have a good day. And I'll hear from you soon.